Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and this is Create Your Own Cozy. I have a confession to make. It is the beginning of the year and I already feel like I'm behind in my life. A couple days before Christmas, I didn't feel well for 24 hours. And then starting Christmas night, my husband didn't feel well for 24 hours. And we were so ready to leave for the beach the day after Christmas, but it turns out we had to be stuck at home. Our whole family had this variant and I am thankful that it was not super bad for our family. It was a really bad head cold, 24 hours of feeling bad. But what really got us was being stuck at home and my youngest didn't feel bad at all. So as you can imagine, she was like 5 a.m. Mommy, mommy, and we are exhausted. So it has, been, it has been a rough end of the year and quite honestly, I wanted to start this year well. I was gonna go to the beach, I was gonna think, and I was gonna churn, I was gonna plan. Guess we're gonna have to move those plans for later. Anyway, the kids were supposed to start school Thursday of this week and we got word that it was virtual. So yesterday and today we did virtual school. So I'm a little bit behind, but on Wednesday, right before school started back up, I was like, that's it. Everybody's better. Get in the car. We're going shopping and we're going to the thrift store. So I'm going to take you along with me. And then after that, I'm going to show you what we came home with. So if you want to see what we got, stick around. Y'all, look at this set. You got this dresser and these cute little end tables. I've never seen anything like it for $250. I did not inspect the drawers because there's no way I was buying it, but if they are still around at half price day and I have a 25% off waiting to be used, I don't know that I could let this stay here. I don't know, what do you guys think? Is this like so cool? And then I've also been thinking of getting rid of my everyday wear. It's just a mess from Ikea. And these white plates were a dollar. Crate and barrel, just plain white plates. I didn't end up, end up getting them because I didn't have a bunch of sizes. But don't forget that your thrift stores have some really good plate sets sometimes if you're looking to just replace your everyday wear.
not really an old radio connoisseur, but my daughter was like, look, this looks really old, you know, because it's like a radio. But someone must have gotten rid of their little collection because there were two left over. Thought they were pretty neat. And then she wanted to get me to get that since we're a party of five in this house, but I passed. This was only five dollars it could have been worth it just for the wood but we are kind of out of this stage so i left those there and then i i have been meaning to make some cornhole um games for us so this is just a reminder i need to get on that so that was my favorite thrift store and quite honestly the shelves were kind of bare and that was probably for the best so at the thrift store i did end up bringing this guy home can you tell how big it is I don't know if I'm gonna put a big plant in it, use it for laundry, maybe use it as a trash can. I, I don't know, but it was $5 and it definitely needed to come home with me. Also at the thrift store, I got a belt for a dollar and I'm not gonna use it for a belt. Eventually, I am going to use it for some type of handle on something, whether it's like a wood tray and then you just have this really cool handle I just thought that was really cool for a dollar. Also, I got this, $2. When I first picked it up, I thought it was silver. The fact that it was gold and we have some gold accents in this house, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet, but it came home with me. And then I don't know that I've shared this with you guys yet, but I love gnomes. My name is Heather and I love gnomes. This little guy was a dollar and he's either gonna go out front on my front porch or on my back porch. I'm not gonna do anything to him. He's just cute. So that's all I got this week at the thrift store. But what I've gotten from this thrift store before, which you might guys might think is kind of funny, is a friend. I have this friend, Jenny. She sells stuff on Instagram. I will put her Bird's Nest Thrift Instagram account in my description box. She sells a lot of um, boho, mid-century modern. Not really my style, but she used to be my style. So fast forward, I don't know, four months of friendship, seeing each other at the thrift store all the time. We've even gone on a hike together on a mountain. Um, she is cleaning out her house and keeps wanting to give me this stuff for free because she knows I want to start a booth. And quite honestly, I think she's just trying to cover a couple months worth of rent in my booth to kind of take some of the pressure off for inventory. So I'm going to show you all the stuff that she's given me for free. Yesterday I met her and she gave me most of the stuff. And then I went and grabbed the last load that she gave me so that you guys could see all the crazy stuff that I've gotten for free. And I'm just wondering if this is like a sign that maybe it's time to open a booth. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. First thing she brought me were, well, the first thing I'm gonna show you is these, these brick molds. Now I believe that they're reproductions because there is not anything in, in the back and they just look like the reproductions, although there's like the letter H, interesting enough, carved on the top. Don't know what that's about, but they would be really cute for risers and for staging. Um, so, yes please. The next thing is this cute little box. Like this is how I'd wanna make boxes look if I found them. Look at that, can you see the lettering on there? And it just legit old wood wouldn't do a thing to this except probably put a clear coat on it just just in case it's some type of a uh, old paint that I, I want to cover up and to kind of stop the chipping that's kind of my plan the next thing let's go ahead and do this one 
So this is a hefty piece. And it has like, she had to have gotten this from an antique booth because somebody made this and put instructions on how to. So when she was giving this to me, she's like, you could use this as your um, shelving for your booth. So I could kind of come up with my design and what I want it to be. Well, stop. Ooh. I did get word that they're going back in person on Monday. Oh my gosh. This is really cool. It looks like, I know I've seen this material before. Where have I seen it? Where have I seen it? Picnic, no, like park benches and stuff. That's what this metal's from. It looks like park bench type metal, but it's old. And this color is my kind of blue, you know, barely there. Super cool. I've got, these are not wood where they're like a resin, but it's a set of three candlesticks. I saw her try to sell these on Facebook Marketplace and nobody bit. And she's like, oh, I'm done dealing with it. So that would be nice to, to put in a booth. And then look at this guy. I'll do a close up of this guy um, so I don't have to pick him up. And then this, already has the hooks, would be like really cool wall decor. I'll do a picture of that. My middle one already says she wants it, but we'll see. Used to be a piano to hold the music. But it'd be cute as a shelf sitter or to put like on a gallery wall, just as something interesting to add in the space. And then look at this pretty thing. The little scalloped wire. I don't know what I would do with these yet, but they would totally look good in my booth. And it definitely has the style. Now, Jenny used to be a professional photographer. She is a professional photographer. She used to have her own studio. So a lot of these things she, she'd use for kids to sit on like as risers and stuff. But so it's just like old wood. This one you may have already noticed because I've already used this in some videos, but look at that. Old wood box as a riser. And then she also gave me this this week, never been opened. Don't know what I would do with that, but. Capri. And this is the last thing. This is heavy, but this would also be a good. Shelf, shelf for my boot. Be consistent get a, get a video out there of legit what's going on in my life and what's going on in my life is the week didn't go as planned the start of the year didn't go as planned but you know what I'm gonna regroup kids are going back to school on Monday and I am ready to start making things next week so if you guys enjoyed this video I'd love a thumbs up what is your favorite thing that I either bought or just landed on me for free 
And would you guys do anything to any of these things or do you like them just the way they are? Let me know in the comments below. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. That way you get notifications every time I upload a new video. And I just wanted to say thank you guys. Happy New Year. Thank you for supporting me and I will see you in the next video. Bye. I could do his voice. Hi, my name is Henry. Welcome back to my mama's channel. No, no, I wasn't. Is he? Uh...